There is a lot to unpack here, and I think we should just start with the candy. Mm. It feels good, doesn't it? To watch bad things happen to bad people. It does. I'm going to chime in there because I don't want Sarah to ruin the moment here by trying to, you know, be in the holiday spirit um, <laughs> and, you know, care about the norms. Okay, let's just let, let me just enjoy the candy cane with you for a second. And um, it is nice. The smirking Kevin face. I kind of, I just sort of want like a, mm. a to, to get a framed, just like a little small <laughs> framed photo of the smirking Kevin face as he has to just sit there on the floor and take it over and over again, hour and hour again, just kind of his like little Muppet face turning all red and just kind of having to do the, oh, shucks, guys, oh, looks like I'm going down again. It's painful. It's one of the most humiliating. It's kind of, it's British almost. Like, we don't really do this kind of thing in America. Like, no. um, you know, it's like, this is about as humiliating of a experience as somebody can go th- could go through. And back we never hold years votes ago. that we don't already know the outcome right. to. Yeah, back 100 years ago when Mr. Gillette, whatever his name was, lost. You know, I mean, the new the, it was still taking a while to get onto the talkies, and uh, I mean, there was it, it's it's a lot different now. The the C-SPAN camera on his face. I did want the picture in picture. I emailed Jesse Rodriguez, my friend at MSNBC, and I was like, "Can I get a steady cam on Kevin for day two? And Just the uh, unfo- un- yeah, unfortunately, the 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 it's C-SPAN controls all the cameras. I don't have a source there, so maybe yeah. if somebody at C-SPAN is listening, we could use a steady cam on cam on Kevin for day two. So the pain is good. He deserves it. He earned it. He brought this on himself. I think this is the most important thing. He brought it on himself. He did not have to. He made a lot of decisions. He did not have to make. He did not have to go down to Mar-a-Lago to grovel. He did not have to whip votes for the coup. You know, he did not have to um, go support the like crazy fucking candidates in primaries like John Gibbs in Michigan. Um, you know, after uh, and and you know he could have he could have made different choices. Um, that might maybe might not have led to the speakership, but might have led to dignity being maintained, um, or might have led to the Republicans winning more House seats, which would have given him a little bit more buffer. Um, he did not make the, the, those choices. He made bad choices, and he's being punished for them. And that is that's just something you like to see every once in a while: people being punished for bad choices. Sarah, can, are you able to? Uh, is your innate goodness so powerful that you can't derive even a tiny shred of enjoyment out of this? I don't know what you guys are even talking about. I've been watching this <laughs> with just the most glee uh, of, oh, of anybody. There we go. But here's Good. the re- but but the reason is is it really is about Tim's last point. Watching somebody make their bed and then have to lie in it is satisfying, right? Yes. So I believe for norms and institutions to be upheld, right, there must be accountability. Now we're getting kind of an orthogonal version of accountability <laughs> here. It is coming at the hands of the absolute worst people in the Republican conference. And yet, you know, one of the I saw something the uh, yesterday <clears throat> that just made my heart skip a beat. And it was, if you had the 10 impeachers still that that oh, would likely yeah. make the margin for Kevin McCarthy if the impeachers hadn't all gone down. Um, and, and so, yeah, no, this is, this is his, his entire – his own fault. Um, and look, I think that there's a whole bunch of interesting things going on here though. Um, but I do, I do take pleasure just in the sheer humility. And, and one of the things that's you – know, it's funny when you talk about humiliation. <clears throat> there's a lot going on that is not – about Trump, like straightforwardly, but still Trump undergirds it all. And one of them is how much he raised their threshold, maybe even their fetishization and desire for ritualized humiliation, right? Like Kevin McCarthy has learned to take the humiliations and just withstand them and still try to sort of claim victory. And in fact, that is what these 20 people have learned as well, right? A bunch of them learned that as long as you're the center of attention, as long as you're the one everyone is focusing on, be the squeaky wheel. Doesn't matter if everyone's mad at you, there will always be some pocket of the media ecosystem or or voters or somebody who's telling you that you're a champion. And it makes you a celebrity and a star, and that's all what matters more. And so, like, Kevin's being humiliated. We're watching it happen. And yet he's built up a certain um, tolerance for that that is allowing him to withstand this. I mean, they're going to go on to a fifth roll call vote here. Uh, and so anyway, I, I, I like it too. I, I'll take accountability however I can get it at this point. Um, but 
I mean, I do think that it is. I think that it is there's there's on, on some level it's bad for the country, right? Like this is sort of ridiculous that we can't govern, but actually it's good. It is good for the Republican Party to have to face what it has wrought by by sort of bringing allowing these people to control things, right? They they, they all brought this on themselves, not just Kevin. All of them have tolerated this. This is a a manifestation of, of the hangover like the from Trump. Journal, yeah. The Wall Street Journal editorial page, which today was tut tutting about, oh, what a mess! So much. Yeah, you built this. Yeah, you guys you built, built this. this. Yeah. Hey, hope you enjoyed that teaser of the next level. Click the link down below for the full episode, and head on over to the Next Level YouTube page and click that subscribe button.